Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we'll be playing pilot training flight simulator on Roblox. And um, today um, we will be flying a Lufthansa 747-2 from Perth International Airport to Israelani International Airport. Enjoy the flight and make sure to subscribe. Um, also, in this reminder video, um, um, you won't see any parts of my face because I'll be doing a face reveal at 100k. Let's go to the video now. As you can see, this is my um, avatar. If you would like to fly me, you'll see, you will just put easy jet and then you'll see like this avatar. It has a Berlin soccer backpack. It's off sale, but I found it in the free items game. Oh yeah, the, that. Um, you ha anyone's, I've heard about this game. I've played it before. It made me rage so hard because I lost, but I, I like Dragon Empire. I've got really expensive cars, like 100K and stuff, 120K. And now we're playing Pilot Training Simulator. My favorite games is probably that game, that game, and that game. But this is my most favorite. That's my second favorite. That's my third. So let's start. <laughs> Okay, guys, we just joined the game. We'll, I, will, I, will, I will be taking off in like five, four minutes. I'll just have to wait for this to load. We're loading the airport at Perth International Inter Airport. That guys, Turkey Airlines, Turkish. I have to go on the third old gate. First, there was a Britain Airways A380. Now, there's a Turkish Airlines A340. So, now I'm gonna be spawning a 747 Lufthansa. As you can see, the door isn't connected to the plane, so I'll actually have to um, like move it so it can touch that door. And also, if, if you didn't know this fact, but did you know that um, um, the longest commercial flight in the world was actually held by a 747? It was a Qantas 747, 20-hour flight from London Heathrow all the way to Melbourne, Aust Australia. It was a cool flight because it was a night flight to, to a day flight. Like night time in England, it was a daytime in England. Hopped on the plane, flew night time, then um daytime back when they landed because that's how it is in in Australia. It's like the opposite. That's why I heard about it in my life. But that's a really cool fact I've heard about. I've heard about it all the time. Okay, we are taking pushback. Oh, we don't have to take pushback. I forgot the passengers. Sorry about that. Whoa. That was close, but look how close my nose, my plane nose was. At least I saw connected to a door. Okay, now we can take pushback because there's really no passengers on this plane. Oh, the Turkish Airlines and British Airways. Pizza guy, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I want to see that British British Airways take off. I really like British Airways. I did see a lot of British Airways and when I go to London in the UK, because I live in the UK. Oh, look at that take off. It's taking off. Like at Stansted. Also, make sure to inform me that in, in, in next year, in January, in 2024, I'll be filming a brand new video that will be coming out. It's going to be an Emirates A380 flight from 
people from London Stansted to um, Dubai Airport, um, more like LSS for London Stansted and DXD for Dubai International Airport. Make sure to see that video, it won't be too long, it'll only be like one hour, two hours, but I really do not know, because I want to see it. I'll also be filming the takeoff and landing, it will be in our flight, because I'll take off at 9am and land at 7am, so I'm flying all the flights, like a night flight. But I hope I don't fall asleep or anything, but maybe when I stop the video I'll fall asleep. Why did I go off the yellow line? One of the yellow line. I don't care, I do have to go off the yellow line to take my turn. Take a turn. For my 747. There you go. The phone didn't really see it because I have an iPhone 8. That's for my supplies. But I, I am saving up to get like a microphone and tripod for better videos. Okay, we are at Perth International Airport. We'll be going near the ATC, more like Airport Tower Control. And we're going on that runway right there, which the British Airways took off on. I will be taking off on that runway. I always take off. I used to take off in Cyprus, then Israel landing, but now I am mostly take off in this. We will actually be landing in Israel landing. Okay, we're not so we're not too close. We're actually not too far. We're not too close to where we first started pushback from. We are very close to the runway. That's the runway right there. Right next to my Lufthansa 747. Actually, when I was on my journey to Romania, which I am here right now, um, I was actually in Frankfurt, Germany on the M3, and I actually saw that this exact 7478, um, it was landing. I, didn't, I couldn't film it because it went too fast. The flyby was fast. I saw a blue and yellow one on the tail that was landing. I couldn't film that one because I didn't have my YouTube on. Um, but I did um, be able to film a um, China Airlines one. It was a 777ER. Very nice. It was a really nice. Um, it was a really nice experience. But I didn't really like it because I had to miss the 747s. But now we'll be taking off. Hundred and ninety knots, two hundred knots. Throttle is a hundred, two hundred knots I can take off. I used the whole money but that was a butter takeoff. Look at that butter takeoff. I'll be taking off the landing gear, as you can see. I took off the gear. Okay, we're climbing up. We won't pass this mountain. There's actually an antenna. I really, I'm enemies with the antenna. Last time I, f I did a flyby with my um, British Airways 747, and when I was flying that, when I took off my my left this wing, my left wing, it literally got stuck inside the tower so i had to evacuate and then i had to start all the way again i didn't film that because i didn't have my youtube or anything i was playing and i, I raged it a little bit but i wasn't too angry you can already see the smoke this this smoky stuff coming out with vapor and i know i know that 747s have this because a lot of times when I look in the sky and planes have two of these, like one on the back and one on the back, if there are four of these, um, if you look in the sky and you see a plane that has this, and if they have four of these, it means they're a double engine plane like a 747A38. When I see four of those, I mostly see like 747A380s, but um, if you see with two, that means they're like a 777, because when I flew my Emirates 777, it had only two of those. But it can be any other planes, that's just the only thing I know about it. 
but I think we'll be having to take down because that's the runway, like right there. I'll be going around the mountain to lose some speed. Okay, I slowly reduced my throttle to 70, 72%. I'm, 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 I'm going down a little bit. I'm gonna put my flaps a little bit on my wing. Um, I'll be putting my landing gear. I want to 50, 1,000 feet. Thank you, thank you, ATC. 1,000 feet, 1,000 feet. Oh, I'm taking a really sharp turn. That was banking, banking left. Also, did you know if you ba if your plane is banking right and you don't know what to do, you can actually you reduce engine one, and then it will be level again. I learned about that on YouTube. But let, let me land. Land, land, land. I landed a bit off the wrong way. Engine go down, engine go down. I don't think we're gonna make it. Can I take off again? No. Engine off. Engine is off. We crash into the ocean. Evacuate, evacuate. Oh, I'm stuck in the plane. Oh, I got out, I got out. Swim, swim, swim. I put my life jacket and stuff. That was a really bad Lufthansa crash. Oh, you can still see the tail of the plane. <laughs> bye bye Lufthansa. I went off the wrong way. I will have to swim to shore. Uh, I'm underwater. <laughs> the airport is right there. You can see ATC tower. Goodness. Okay, my plane foot is not really submerged. I thought it was fully submerged, but you can still see the t upper deck of the 747 and the wit and the tail. I'm just gonna still swim up to the airport and then I'm gonna go on land. Let me look on my binoculars. Yeah, we are pretty close. Yeah. That was the scariest feeling. My plane is fully submerged. My plane is fully submerged in underwater. Okay, bye guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, make sure you sure to subscribe. See ya!